in this video we will calculate average of numbers so what do you mean by average so its basic formula is sum of all the numbers divided by total number of items so let's say we have five items or five numbers five three four six and seven so now we have five numbers uh, if we will add up they will become 8 plus 4 12 plus 6 18 plus 7 25 so now we have five numbers which will sum up to 25 and we will divide it by 5 which is the number of digits we have so here we have number 1 number 2 number 3, number 4, number 5 so since we have 5 numbers over here so we will divide it by 5 and we will equal it to 5 because if you will just cut it and it will, it will become 5 so now 5 is the average of these 5 numbers so this is how we calculate average of numbers Now let's do some questions. So, so let's say we have five numbers: two, three, four, five, six. So if we will add up, they will become five plus four, nine; nine plus five, fourteen; fourteen plus six, twenty. So twenty divided by five will make it four. So this is how we will we calculate the average of numbers now we have another question which says Mr. XYZ scores 102 runs in the 18th innings of his career thus increases his average by 5 after the 18th inning her average would be so the, as we can see Mr. XYZ made or scored 102 runs in the 18th evening. In, so we can safely assume that there were 17 matches which were played already. So that is case number one and in the case number 2 we will we will assume x is the number of the runs mr xyz already made or scored plus 102 runs he scored recently in the 18th inning divided by 18 because total number of matches he played uh, have now become 18 equals to let's say earlier on his average was y so now it has increased to increased with 5 so this is our first equation and second equation would be x which is the number of uh, which is the number of runs he scored in 17 innings equals to y average of the runs till 17 innings so now if we want to equate these two equations we will just so this is equation number one this is number two let's refine them a bit so now if you will see after the 18th inning her or his average would be so now in this case we will be concentrating on y because y is the average so since it's already in terms of y we need to solve this equation and we will do it by
going making y and then x plus 102 minus 90 because we took the we brought this 5 over here it became minus 5 now we are taking LCM and this divided by 18 so now it will become x plus 12 divided by 18 equals to y so now we have both equations so we will just solve them by equating so let's just equate them x divided by 17 equals to x plus 12 divided by 18 now we will just cross multiply it it will become 18x equals to 17x plus 17 into 18 not 18 12 so this is how we simplified so now we will just bring this one over here so it will become x equals to 204 because if you will multiply these two terms then it will become 204 so now we can just put this value inside this equation and it will become 204 divided by 17 equals to y so if we will divide this term with 17 it's 12 so we will just add the 5 since it says and thus increases his average by 5 so earlier on uh, till 17th evening his average was 12 now after scoring 102 runs the average has increased by 5 so it will become plus 5 which will be 17 so this is the answer of this question that after 18th inning her or his average will be 17 Now we will solve another question which says the average height of 10 pilots in a batch is 105 centimeters. If 20 more pilots will with an average height of 120 centimeters joins them, what will be the average height? So this is a very interesting question. In this question, we just need to multiply these two terms and then we need to multiply so that will be a part then we there will be a b part in which we will be multiplying this with this and then we will be dividing the total number of pilots so solving a so here we have we have 10 pilots and the average height is under 
105 centimeters so it will make it 1050 centimeters in total while we have another 20 pilots and they have the height 120 centimeters so we will just multiply it and it will become 2400 centimeters so we'll just add up these two so it will become three four five zero also we have in total 30 pilots so we will just divide it by 30 and we we'll just cut it and it will become one one five so the average height the result the resultant average height would be 115 centimeters that happened after so that is the joint average of these 10 pilots having 105 centimeters height and 20 pilots having 120 centimeters height so this is how we approach these kinds of questions now we have another question, very interesting question, which is about the ratios in height. So we, uh, the average height of three uh, people, three persons, ABC is 25, cent 25 years and the ratio of their ages is 357. So we have to find the, uh, the age of A. So for that we will just do this, we will just use 3x then plus 5x plus 7x divided by 3 because we have 3 people equals to the average the average is 25 so now if we will sum up these 3 it will become 15 15x divided by 3 equals to 25 if we will just cross multiply it will become 15x equals to 75 so x will be 5 so now x is 5 over here now we have to find the age of a so all we need to do is multiply x value of x with 3x so 3 into 5 is 15 years so this is the age of a if you want to calculate age of b then we need to multiply 5 into substitute value of x which is 5 it will be 25 centimeters or 25 years the age and similarly for C it would be 7 into 5 35 years so this is how we calculate average age and the, by using the ratio of the ages thank you for watching the video